So a quick little follow-up to the video I made yesterday where I went to Lugia's area in Heart Gold before visiting Ho-Oh's area on a game that had already on a file that had already beaten the game and it crashed. Afterwards on the same file that had already beaten the game, instead I went to Ho-Oh's area because I wanted to clear the flag so that I could leave Mubark, but because I had already beaten the game, Ho-Oh has already respawned even though I have not triggered Ho-Oh to start with. So Ho-Oh is already standing there before the cutscene that's supposed to play actually plays. But this is the correct cutscene, so this one does not crash at the end. What I do find interesting about this cutscene is that it's not automated. Like when they do this zoom out, Ho-Oh is still there. Ho-Oh is not supposed to be on that screen at all, but its model is loaded. Because it is there. It doesn't exactly get the, uh, the next part right though. So here we're supposed to be seeing Ho-Oh just falling down slowly towards the ground, but because it's already there, it just stays there, flapping its wings. And now we have two Ho-Ohs. Uh, beautiful. Okay, last time I actually ran away from this, I'm actually going to try catching it. Because I'm pretty sure they have different dialogues for whether you catch or not. And I want to see if the dialogue changes from one to the other. different. Okay, so now if I fight the second one. It does change. That's really cool. Because you never see that text box ever again, because if you just fuck off, they're gone. Alright, that's all I wanted to show off.